Shalom. Uh, this is 15 Minutes with a Captain. I am Captain Zakar. To my right, Officer Uriel. All right, and today we are going to go into the religion of God. Yes, God does have a religion, and it's not man made. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start out with 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 3. So let's, let's get and show what it's always been. And because we know, even us devout Christians, we know God don't change, right? So let's go to the beginning. Read that. Second Ezra chapter two and verse three. Uh, Second Ezra chapter three, verse four. Second Ezra chapter three and verse four. Yeah. O Lord, who bearest rule, thou speakest at the beginning, when thou didst plant the earth, and that that thyself alone, and commandest the people. So God from the beginning commandest the people. Read on. And gavest a body unto Adam uh -huh. without soul, which was the workship workmanship. Of thine hands, and did it breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made living before thee, uh -huh. and thou lettest him into paradise, which thy right hand had planted mm -hmm. before ever the earth came forward. That's talking about Jerusalem. Go ahead. And unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way. Hold on. In the beginning, God gave to Adam a commandment to love thy way. Read on. Which he transgressed. Which he did what? Which he transgressed. Which he transgressed. Whenever you transgress something when it comes to God, that means you are breaking his laws. Right. I don't even have to go to the precept because it's going to explain it right here. Read on. And immediately thou appointed, appointed death in him. So, and we all know that the wages of sin is what? Death. Is death. Right. And the breaking of God's laws is sin. Read on. And in his generations of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number. Here's the point. Verse 8. Verse 8. And every people walked after their own will uh -huh. and did wonderful things before they And did what? Before thee, uh -huh. and despise thy commandments. And did what? Despise thy commandments. Ezra is letting you know from the beginning, God gave Adam commandments to teach all people, but everybody did their own thing, right. just like they doing today. Right. They made up their own gods. They made up their own way of life. They made up their own religions. Right. But God, from the beginning. His religion, his way of life is the commandments. Let's get that in Psalms 119 and 160 to prove that. Psalms 119, 160. Go ahead, read it when you get it. Psalms 119, verse 160. Uh -huh. Thy word is true from the beginning. From when? From the beginning. Thy word is true from the beginning when you made Adam. Read. And every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. They do what? Endureth forever. They endure forever. His word is true from the beginning. And what did he give Adam in the beginning? Commandments. Give me that in Psalms 119, uh, Psalms 111, verse 7 and 8. Let's prove that. Psalms 111, verse 7 and 8. Let's prove that it was commandments like we already did. But right. we're going to beat you over the head with it to the stick. <laughs> right. Read that. Psalms 111, verse 7. Uh-huh. The works of his hands are ver ver verity, verity. Uh -huh. and judgment. Uh-huh. All his commandments are sure. All his commandments are sure. That means they are good, right? right. Go ahead. They stand fast forever and ever. How long do his commandments stand fast forever for? Forever and ever. Forever, ever? Forever. <laughs> ever, ever. Just like Andre 3000 said. <laughs> God's commandments stand sure. They stand fast forever and ever. Read on. And are done in truth and uprightness. In truth and uprightness. That means you can't have a one foot in and one foot out. Right. You can't have a little bit of the truth and a little bit of the lie. Right. You can't be in Christianity and say that uh, uh, I love God. Well, saying he know my heart ain't he enough. He know my heart ain't enough. <laughs> no. No, it got to be done in truth and uprightness. Right. You can't go to church all your life and still be the devil is what God's saying. <laughs> right. Just like your grandma's been doing. Your grandpa's mean as all outdoors. Been going to church for 50 years. Hate everybody in the family if you're doing wrong. Bear grudges. Right. Can't do that. Go to uh, Genesis 26. Let's, let's prove that. Let's prove that. Now, he gave it to Adam, right? We know the flood happened, right? Right. So what happened after the flood? Genesis 26 and 5. Genesis chapter 26 and verse 5. Uh-huh. 
because that Adam obeyed Abraham, Abraham obeyed my voice uh -huh. and kept my charge. And what was that? My commandments. He kept what? My commandments. And what else? My statutes uh -huh. and my laws. Abraham from the beginning in the book of Genesis, which means beginning, was keeping God's uh, charge, which means his commandments, his statutes, and his laws. Right. Where did he get that from? Mm -hmm. He got it all the way back from Adam, and Adam passed it down all the way to Noah. And Noah gave it to his right. sons, and Noah's sons gave it to him. Gave it to Abraham. The law, statutes, and commandments of God. Let's go to Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. We're going to go back a few chapters, right? Read that. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. Uh -huh. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be of a stranger, shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. That's the Israelites. Go ahead. And they and and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them. 400 years. So Abraham's seed is the Israelites, and we were slaves for 400 years mm -hmm. in Egypt. 400 years. That's a long time to be in bondage to somebody else, right? Yeah. Let's go to uh, Nehemiah chapter 9. Let's see what the first thing God did when he brought us out of slavery. Did he give us a uh, religion that the Egyptians was doing, the Assyrians right. was doing, uh, the uh, Ethiopians, did he tell us follow their ways? Let's see what God reestablished once again. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai and spake it, uh, and spakest with them from heaven uh -huh. and gavest them the right judgments. They gave them right judgments uh -huh. and true law. Hold on. God gave us what? True law. As soon as we came out of Egypt, out of bondage, out of slavery, he gave us his true laws once again mm. because God's religion is his laws. That's right. He gave us us true laws. Read on. Good statutes uh -huh. and commandments. And commandments. Read on. And made us known unto them thy holy Sabbath. Now this is what is uh, some few things that are wrapped up in his commandments and his laws. His holy, holy, holy Sabbath. Read right. on. And commandest them precepts, uh -huh. statutes, and laws uh -huh. by the hand of Moses. So as soon as we came out of slavery, the first thing God did again was reestablish his laws right. on the earth with his people once again. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 4 and let's prove that again. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 44. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 44. Uh -huh. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. You keep saying that says law Right. God gave Moses laws to give to the children of Israel, which you blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians are. He did not give them religion. He did not tell them, give them the book, right. and then let them pick what they want, and then right. I'm going to work around what <laughs> they want to do. Right. That ain't how God get down. He don't change. And we're going to prove that later on in, in this class right here. So it's the law that he gave to Moses to give to the children of Israel. Read on. These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moses spake unto the children of Israel uh -huh. after they came forth out of Egypt. After they came forth out of Egypt, reestablishing his law. Let's go to Sirach, which is called Ecclesiasticus, chapter 17 and verse 11. We're going to show you what those laws are. Read that. Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Uh-huh. Beside this, he gave them knowledge mm -hmm. and the law of life for inheritance. The laws that God gave us is a way of life. That's what religion is. Religion is a way of life, a set of beliefs. And what we are supposed to believe in is the laws of God, right. not the traditions of man. Mm -hmm. Read that again for him. Verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and, they, and, and the law of life for inheritance. The law of life for inheritance to be passed down to our kids, to our kids' kids, to our kids' kids' kids. It's supposed to be passed down forever. And, and you may not have knew that before because you was in oppression and you was forced to be religious. Right. According to what man says, but now you got an uh, opportunity to watch this video and, and learn the religion of God, which is his laws from the beginning. 
Let's go to uh, uh, 17 and 18. Jump down to verse 18. Verse 18. Whom being his firstborn, he, he nourisheth with discipline. That's what the laws of God do. And that's why many people choose man-made religion instead right. of God's religion. Right. Because God religion, God's way of life for his people requires discipline. Right. Thou shalt not. Is a, a form of discipline. Right. You will not do that if you are disciplined in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit. Exactly. Read that again. Whom being his firstborn, which are the children of Israel, he nourisheth with discipline. He grew up, he fed us with discipline. Read on. And giving him the light of his love doth not forsake him. Jump over to uh, 18, verse 14. It's rock, 18, verse 14. Uh huh. He hath mercy on them that receiveth discipline. He has mercy on them that keep his laws. Because if you can discipline your body to turn from the ways of man, God said, I'll have mercy on you. Right. Because all the whole world lies in wickedness. But you discipline enough to keep my laws, the, the religion that I gave your forefathers from the beginning, I'll have mercy on you. Right. Read it again. Verse 14, he hath mercy on them that receiveth discipline, uh -huh. and that diligently seek after his judgments. That diligently seek after his judgments, which is his laws. Right. Let's go to uh, Galatians chapter 1. Let's prove it. Let's prove it even more. Galatians chapter 1, and we're going to start at verse uh, 13. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 13. Uh -huh. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' Religion. In the what? The Jews' religion. We just gave you the precepts of what the Jews, the Israelites' religion was since the beginning. Right. It has always been the law, statutes, and commandments of God. And you might say to yourself, mm -hmm. I'm not a Jew. Right. I am a Baptist. Right. I, that ain't your nationality. <laughs> Being a Jew is your nationality right. and your religion, your way of life is the laws from God. Right. You are a Jew. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians because he ain't never called you no uh, African American, no Haitian, no Jamaican, no Puerto Rican, no El Salvadorian, no right. uh, uh, Venezuelan. Right. If I said it right, Mexican. <laughs> you got it. He's never called you that. You've been called that in your lower state by your oppressors. You are Jew, and your religion is the law of God. That's right. So read that again. Verse 13. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, uh -huh. how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and, and wasted it. Read on. And, uh, and profited in the Jews' religion. In the laws. Go ahead. Above many my equals in my own nation, mm -hmm. being more ex exceedingly zealous of the tradition of my fathers. The tradition of my fathers. Mm -hmm. And and what was Paul? He was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. So that's further reaffirming that the tradition of the Israelites is the laws of God. And if you want to put a label on it, that's their religion. Right. And it came directly from God on Mount Sinai. Right. And even before that, it came to Adam and was passed down. That's right. right. So let's go to uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 2. Prove it even more. 1 Maccabees chapter 2, we're going to read 19 through 22. 1 Maccabees chapter 2, verse 19. Uh -huh. Then Mattathias answered and spake with a loud voice, Though all the nations that are under the king's dominion obey him and fall away every one of their religion of their fathers. They fall away every one from the religion of their fathers, the other nations, the religion, the way of life from their fathers, read. And give consent to his commandments. Uh -huh. Yet will I yet will I and my sons and my brethren walk in the covenant of our fathers. What is that? Read the next verse. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the and the ordinances. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the ordinances because of what? Next verse. We will not hearken to the king's words. To go from our religion. To go from what? Our religion. Go from our religion, which in verse 21 is the laws and the ordinances that right. God gave us. We will not hearken to the king's words to go from 
our way of life, read on, either on the right hand or the left. We ain't going to be lukewarm. We ain't going to pick out stuff that feels good to us, to the, that appeases us. Right. We're not going to do that, right? So let's go to um, what we got, Ephesians chapter 4 now. The religion of God and the religion of the Israelites is the law, statutes, and commandments which are true forever and ever. Let's read that, Ephesians 4. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. Verse 4. Verse 4. Uh-huh. There is one body. Hold on, it's what? There is one body. There is one body. And one spirit. Uh-huh. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Read on. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. There is one Lord, one faith, one thing to believe in, one baptism. Read on. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all. And in you all. And what's that one faith in that one way that we've always had as Israelites from the beginning? It's the laws of God. Right. Give me a uh, last script here. Proverbs 21, 16. Proverbs 21, 16. So what happens when we go from the religion of God and, and follow the traditions of man and make up our own way? Or just, just try to make up terms like, I'm not religious I'm spiritual. I'm spiritual. Right. You try to make up stuff like that. That's you doing your own thing. What right. happens to a person like that? Read that. Proverbs 21, verse 16. Uh -huh. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. The way of understanding of how to live life is to keep the commandments. Because right. we read in Sirach 17 and 11, God gave them knowledge and the law of life right. for an heritage. So the way to understand how to live life is by keeping God's laws. So the man or the woman that wanders out of the way of that, what does God say? Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You're going to stay in man-made man -made religion and the laws of God, the Bible, will never make sense to you. Right. Until you're dead and meet your maker. So with that, we say shalom. This has been 15 Minutes with a Captain. I'm Captain Zakar to my right. Officer Uriel. Most high Christ, Christ bless. Now that we see the true men of God, we are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.